In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these amazing poster animations in DaVinci Resolve. So first thing you need is to create a timeline. So go ahead, right click over here and then select this create new timeline. Then unselect the use project settings and go over to format and then select this use vertical resolution and hit create. So here we have the vertical form and let's drag in the fusion composition. Go over to the fusion composition and over here, let's drag in a background first and connect it to the media out. And this is the image that I'm using. So this has a background and then there is a hill over here. So use any image like this that has this sort of a landscape because this is the one that I'm going to be using. And in order to achieve the kind of animation that I'm going to show you, you need something similar of this sort. So let's go ahead and connect the image to the background. And over here, I'm going to add this transform. And let's go ahead and increase the size so that this fits in our screen. So this works at 2.2 for me. And just make sure that this is covering the whole screen. Now, while you have your media in selected, just add this color corrector and go over to the saturation and then change this to zero. So you will get this black and white sort of an image. So the next thing we need is to add an ellipse. So I'm going to create an ellipse, which I'm going to hide behind this hill area over here. So add in this ellipse and also a background. Now the color for the background that I'm going to be using is something like this, an orange color like this. So let's connect the ellipse to the background and the background to the merge one. And over here, let's zoom in and see it. This is the ellipse that we get, but let's right click at width, select expression, and then connect this to the height. And over here, I'm going to go with 0 0.8. Now I'm going to add this polygon and let me just remove this keyframe from here and let's connect the polygon to the merge too. And this will basically act as the mask for this. So let's go ahead and add our mask like this all right and make sure you have your polygon one selected and then select this invert and here you can see we have the circle on the top side and over here you can see we have something messing up so you can simply just move this down and this looks okay but you will see that it still does not look that good and in order to make it more natural just select your polygon and then change the soft edge so here you can see this looks much better and let me just slightly move this up slightly so this looks perfect and here you can see it looks like this ellipse is part of the image now so let me add in this background and also this rectangle connect the rectangle to the background and the background to the merge and over here i'm going to change the color to white and in the background and in the rectangle, let's increase the width all the way to 1 and change the height to 0 0.2 and move this here. Or let's just change this to 0 0.15 so that this is small enough. Okay, and now let's go ahead and add in another shape. And the, using this rectangle over here and also this background. Connect the background to the rectangle and the... Connect the rectangle to the background and the background to the merge. And for this one, for this background color, I'm going to select this color over here and then select this big screen color and use the same color that we did for the circle in the background. Now I'm going to decrease the height to 0 0.1 and let's move this right here. And also I'm going to change the corner radius to 0 0.4 like this. And over here, it seems perfect. And now let's add in our text. So connect the text to the merge four and over here let's type in stallion or anything that you want. Let's move this right here. And I'm going to change the color to something dark. And for the font, I'm going to be using this one. And let's change this to 0 0.3. So this looks perfect right here. All right, so this is basically our poster you can see and now we're going to animate this so the first thing we're going to animate is this circle in the background go over at 50 frames and create a keyframe at 
center and then go over at zero and then create another keyframe and this time we're going to move this down so this is hidden and if you play this this is how the animation looks but we're going to make the animation more interesting by going over to spline make sure you select this displacement for the ellipse and select this one over here to see all your keyframes select your keyframes and hit s on the keyboard then select the first keyframe and move this right here make sure that this is straight and do the same thing for this one but at this side and let me just move this right here so that we can get this s curve and if you play this now this is how it looks all right and now we're going to animate this box over here so select this rectangle tool and create a keyframe at 50 and also at zero but this time we're going to change this at 50 so we're going to move this out at 50 frames so let's do that go over to spline make sure you unselect the ellipse from above and hit s on the keyboard while you have your keyframes for rectangle 2 selected and then do the same thing that we did before like this so we get the s curve over here and if you play this let's just play this and see how this looks so as soon as the circle comes in this rectangle goes out and now we're going to animate our text so go over at 50 once again and in the layout section for the text create a keyframe at center and then at zero create another keyframe and then at 50 let's move this right here like this and this time let's go over at 30 frames where we have this box almost disappearing go over to text and create a keyframe at font then one frame behind create another keyframe and then at the keyframe at 30 frames change the font to this style over here so this is the one and if you play this this is how it looks but we need to go over to spline and then change the keyframe settings so make sure you unselect this font and the style only select the displacement and hit s on the keyboard and do the same thing that we did before and let's play this and see how this looks all right perfect and now we're going to move this back to where it was so moving the ellipse back to uh where it was hidden and then the text back to where it was before and then the rectangle we're going to bring that back in so let's go ahead at 80 and for the ellipse let's first start with the ellipse once again create a keyframe at center and this is so that this stays in the same position from 50 frames to 80 frames and then at 110 let's create another keyframe and this time we're going to move this down now let's go over to rectangle tool and do the same thing so at 80 frames create a keyframe then at 110 create another one and then move this back to where it was but this time go over to zero frames and select the same settings as the x-axis over here then go back to 110 and paste the same value so this will be back to where it was and you can do the same thing for this ellipse as well so go over at zero select or copy the y-axis value and then go over to 110 and paste them right here all right and now let's go over at 90 all right and now let's go over at 90 create a keyframe for the font and then one frame later we're going to change the change this back to where it was and now let's go over to spline and then change the settings so we're going to start with the ellipse once again so make sure you select this one from here these are the ones that we created at 80 frames and hit s on the keyboard and this time we're going to do the same thing that we did before like this now let's go over to the text displacement and you will see that right so we don't have the text animation done so let's go back to our text then at 110 create a keyframe at layout in the center section now let's go back to zero and copy the same value as the x-axis and then go over to 110 and paste it right here all right and now go back to spline and you will see this is our keyframes and let's so we haven't created our keyframes for this text over here so let's go back to text and create a keyframe at the layout section at 80 frames 
Then go over at 110 and create another keyframe. And we're going to copy the value that we had for the X at zero and paste it over here. So this will be back to where it was. Now let's go over to spline and then hit S on the keyboard for these frames as well. And we also need to do for the rectangle as well. So make sure you select the rectangle ones as well and do the same thing. So here we have our animation done. So now let's go back to the main timeline and now let's go ahead and play this. So here you can see this is how it looks. And if you add it in a loop kind of thing, this is how it will look. So animation coming in, going out and here it's back to how it was. So this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.